We live on the back streets with your girl Cole, man. We got the homie D.E.S. Dez in this bitch, man. Life on Haunting, am I saying that right? Life on Haunting. Haunting. My bad for butchering that, man. Correct me. I appreciate y'all for coming through, man. The project is out, but first, man, let the streets know who you is, where you from, and what you got coming, if you do not mind. All right, y'all. My name is Dez. I'm from Houston, Texas. Homestead. Homestead, uh, okay. Right now, I just dropped a uh, EP, Life on How. It's on all streaming platforms. You can go get that. Uh, you can go to my YouTube and check me out. Type in this. Um, subscribe to my channel. You can see all my music. Ooh. Yeah. Follow me on Instagram, YSL.Dead. Okay, man. Should have listened, man. That was one of my favorite songs off the project. You only did four songs, like a four song EP, and I do appreciate that, man. Talk about that song a little bit if you don't mind. That song, it's like. Shit. It was just like. It was real yeah, personal. I, mean, yeah. I feel like it was personal. I was, just, I was going through so much shit, like having the wrong people around me, mm. and like just, like, just trying to, trying to shy away from my personal life, my personal things that was going on, and just moving around. Okay. It was just like, shit, the niggas you would do the most shit for, they'll be the ones turn on them. Big fix, big fix. Do you still have those people around you, or did you uh, tighten the circle up, or how are you moving now? Nah, I, I didn't tighten the circle up now. Okay. Shit. Especially in the rap game, you gotta be, you gotta move different, yeah. whatever the case may be. Man, why the name of the project, man? Because that's where I'm from. Okay, Houghton is a street. I live in, in Houston Gardens. That's where I'm from. Okay. Houston Gardens. So, the name of the street is Houghton, so shit. I've been on that, I've been on I've been on that street for so long, it's just been like, I seen so much shit happen right there. Mm. So it's like, shit, this is what it's been like, but this just only like a sneak peek. Right. Shit, so right now I'm trying to get to, we working on doing videos. Okay. Working on uh, more music for sure. Okay. And we're about to put out a mixtape. What's the name? Right oh, now, you we got a name. We don't have no name okay. right now. We 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 just we doing it as we go. Okay. We're doing it as we go. What 2020 looking like for you, man? What you got? What you got? Work? What what you got planned? Just a whole a whole lot of working. Okay. Uh, just keep putting out the music. Okay. Keep doing the videos. I gotta stay in the studio. I gotta get. I just gotta gotta uh, build my fan base. Okay. I feel that. Who was your influence on music? Who did you listen to? Or who do you listen to? I listen to Lil Baby. Okay. But I grew up on uh, Lil Wayne. Mm. Kind of T.I. Okay. Gucci Man. Okay. Like, Legends. I kind of, I still like mess with that type of stuff, but like now I be, I just be listening to everything. I keep my ear open to everything. Okay. So you don't have no favorite? Do you have a favorite go-to rapper or artist that you're listening to? Probably like, like Future. Future, okay. Okay, speaking of Future, you seen what the homie Juice lost his life, man. What was your thoughts on that? Uh, another young life taking fast. Mm. Just wrong place, wrong time. Just moving wrong. Mm. That's the, that's the, that will sum it up, man. Talk about Long Road, man, a little bit. That one got the star on Apple right now, man. Y'all go download it right now. Talk about that one. Long Road, it's just basically me saying, like, I'm telling you, like, it's been, it's, I've been through a lot of shit to get where I'm at right now. It took a long time for me to get to the point where I'm at. Like, just going through a lot of shit by myself, like, mm. and me dealing with it personally. It's just, it's just really, it made me stronger. Like, mm. So I'm just saying, like, shit, I feel like I came a long road. I came a long, came a long way. Okay, do you write your music or is everything off the top of your head or do you got a phone? What's your, what's your process in the studio like? I'm listening, I write, and I can freestyle too. So, like, mm. if we in the studio and I hear a beat, like, I can catch a flow. Okay. Okay. When you're in the studio, man, and anybody around you, man, what are the three things that you gotta have in the studio? 
gotta have some weed. Okay, if I don't weed. We gotta have some water for sure. Okay, for she show hydration. And shit, that's really it. Weed and water, okay. Any advice to the rappers in the city that you can give? Because I know you've been doing your thing, you said by yourself, man. So, any advice? Just keep pushing. Don't be scared to to show your talent because you think, because you're scared of what other people are going to say about you. Like, if you know you're talented, shit, use your talent. Okay. I feel that man, you had a big ass show last night. Talk about the energy and how was it like performing in front of the crowd? Performing in front of the crowd. When I went in, I wasn't thinking, I wasn't even feeling it. I was just ready to get on and go. Mm. I, it was a lot going on in that day. But, okay. Uh, shit, I had went in and I was supposed to only do two songs. And everybody was rocking with me so hard. Mm. I ended up doing four songs. Damn. And shit. When I got off the stage, people was like, they was asking my Instagram, they were trying to take pictures, they was like, uh, they were, I did an interview, and I did an uh, a intro, this dude let me do an intro, and he said that uh, he just wanted to, he wanted me to come to another show that they was having March 1st, so okay. he was like, that one's supposed to be like a little bigger. Okay. Man, and you had another EP you dropped earlier this me this year, man, through the struggle, man. Talk about that one a little bit for those of who those of y'all who ain't heard it, man. Y'all go tap in and talk about that one a little bit. Through the struggle, mm -hmm. that was like that's me, like that was my like debut thing, like shit, like I'm here, like, fuck it, I'ma just do this right now. I started taking it serious, and then shit, once I dropped the EP. Like shit, I shocked myself. That bitch had like 6.5 thousand views, like within a couple months. And I was just like, damn, damn. if I can do that. Exactly. Shit. Damn, what did they feel like when you saw that? I was just, I was just like, damn, they really fucking with me. Yeah. Well, I was like, like damn. So what's the difference, man? How is those two projects, the ones you got, one you got out now, and the one? Versus back then, like how's those projects different? Uh, I'm through the struggle. I was still finding my sound. Mm. So like, okay. you hear me like just trying stuff out and now like, cause I had made prior to that I already had like ten songs. So I was just trying something and I was like, fuck. Like I feel like the other songs they weren't they weren't gonna be the right ones to come in the game with. Mm. So I just felt like. The ones that was that was good enough, I felt like they sounded like it was me. Mm. I just throw those on the album. Okay. I'm gonna go with that. Okay. Shit, it turned out, it turned out real good. And you got like a vibey, catchy type music of tempo. How do you know, like like know know which songs are it? Like which ones to choose? The beat, like when I hear a beat, I automatically like I automatically get a song. Mm. Like it just comes straight. It's a, I can't explain it, it just be coming fast. Okay. And I just be like, damn. Okay. Anybody in the world you want to work with? Dream Collabo? Uh, not really. Nobody? Nobody in right now. Okay. Anybody from the city that you don't work with already? That you like collabing with? Uh, I haven't done no collaborations yet. I did okay. one with, uh, Oh, homeboy, but it wasn't. Did you put it out or? Yeah, it was on. Uh, it was on SoundCloud. It was called Gwen Stefani. Okay. But uh, y'all can go check that out. If I'm gonna go check that. that. Definitely go check that out. But uh, yeah, that was just that was like my first time going to the studio, mm -hmm. and I had did one song, and I had did that one. I have that song. Yeah. Feature, I'm gonna be like, okay, like we can do the feature. Like just let me know. Like, don't say let's do a feature and then go blank on me. Like, don't be doing that. Yeah, hop in your DM and... Yeah, like, you coming for a feature, I'm like, all right, we can do this. Like, if it's if it's about the money, like, you can just, I'll pay for this. You can come. Like, mm -hmm. we ain't even tripping, you can come. But don't be, don't just, just tell me what's going on, let me know something. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Do you think it's about the money when you hit people with the price and then they back out? Yeah. 
sometimes, not all the time, because I know sometimes people just like, they be having other shit going on, so you gotta understand. No, true that, true that. So, you, like in 2020, will you network with more artists? Like reach out to more artists, reach out to like different people? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to bring a couple, a couple people up. Mm. You know what I'm saying, try to put a couple people in a good position. So, what type of position you try? Is you trying to form, form like a team, like an independent thing, or? I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's that, but it's just me. It's just me, like helping them, like, mm. like, cause I know how I feel to be like that. Like wanting to do something so bad but not having the money to do it. So big facts. Shit. Big facts. I'll That's why I say like, especially when there's people that you know, like they got a story to tell. So shit. We all got a story, man. So that, what made you want to do that, man? That's that's huge. Uh, man, just going through so much and like I feel like I'm one of those people where you can't tell, you can't talk to everybody about your problems like, mm. because. I'm one of those people, like, if I tell you about my problems, I want you to give me an answer. I want a solution. Right. I don't want to tell you about my problems and then you tell me, oh, I understand, or it's going to be okay. Because that's the same thing everybody going to say when you tell them your problems. I be wanting to answer, like, tell me what am I supposed to do. So Makes shit. sense. What? I, yeah, I was like, wow. shit, the music gave me a chance to explain myself. Right. What's the hardest thing or challenge you have been through by far that you done put out in the music? Hardest challenge right now is uh, just learning, like learning, like how to not get fucked over. Mm. I respect that because nine times out of ten, it's gonna happen if you yeah. don't know your being like, the big. Any time it do happen, I try to the game. Right. I just like I just I just try to learn from my mistakes. But that shit. I understand that. Have you ever got fucked over by for the game with somebody? That, like did a feature or didn't come through or you had a show or shit like that or it hasn't happened yet? Yeah, it, it happened a couple of times before. Mm. And, uh, I just told him like, like if you're gonna be serious about it, then be serious about it. Like, cause I'm a, like right now, I didn't took it. I didn't, I'm right, taking it I serious right exactly. now. Exactly. So you can't be wasting my time. Like that's how I be feeling. Like I can't waste no time right now. I feel it. Why the name Dez? Why did you decide to go with that as far as the uh, artist name? Cause that's that's just me. That's what I've been called my whole life. Oh, okay. So you just kept it with that. And the YSL is what? That was just that was the younger me, like. Okay. Just interested in something. Oh, okay, okay. YSL, Cause I had tied it to Young Thug. Was that a? Was yeah, like kind of uh, like. A oh, okay, thug, okay. Like, Okay, I, I know I wasn't tripping. I knew I wasn't tripping, man. Being from the city, I you... want to I want to change it on Instagram, but they ain't have my name on that. So. What you want to change to? This. 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 Somebody else got that name. Damn. You'll figure that figure that shit out, man. What made you like? Nah, I said what made you being from the city, man. Do you think it's gonna be hard to break as an artist? Yeah, but shit, I know I can do it. Mm. That's all that fucking matters. I know I can do it. What give you that drive and motivation with all everything you've been through, man? Removing people from your circle, man. What give you that motivation to know knowing you can do it? Still having people to fall back on. Mm. And just knowing that like anytime I make a, a wrong decision that I still got people behind me that still gonna love me the same no matter what I do. No, oh, I feel that. I feel that man. Plug the IG, the YouTube, the Apple, man, let them know where they can find the project. Everything with the whole brain, if you don't mind, before we get out of here. Y'all can find me on all streaming platforms, Apple, Spotify, Tidal, YouTube, SoundCloud, whatever. Type in Dez, Through the Struggle. It's going to pop up. Type in Dez, Life on How. Make sure y'all go check out both my EPs. Right now. Mixtape coming in January. Uh, check out my YouTube for interviews. and. Uh, okay, why that one? Because it had just happened. Like, mm. it, it had just happened a couple of days before, and I just went and wrapped that whole thing. So it was like, that was crazy. Man, y'all go.